Welcome to 5 Minutes in the Word, a daily devotional in the Word of God. Well, then sometimes in life we feel alone. Whether that's we feel alone because our friends aren't around or our family or, or maybe we are not living the spiritual life or that we should be living and we feel that we're uh, uh, separated from God. Uh, I think we see that as we start Psalm chapter 10, that there's this, this crying out of, you know, Lord, uh, where are you? Why are you not here? Or, you know, uh, maybe the idea is, why are you not helping me through this? Mm -hmm. uh, we should know God's always there because he is, uh, no matter what circumstances are. So why don't you tell us a little bit about Psalm chapter 10? Uh, you're saying that we may feel alone is exactly right, because that's what we get uh, from verse 1. Why, O oh Lord, do you stand far away? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? Uh, sometimes we ask ourselves, do, you, or do I see myself here? Um, when we know good and well that God doesn't move, right. we're the ones that move. We let go of his hand, and we venture off and end up being lost. Right. Uh, in verse 2, In arrogance, the wicked hotly pursue the poor. Let them be caught in schemes that they have devised. For the wicked boast of the desires of his soul, and the one greedy for gain curses and renounces the Lord. See, in my opinion, Psalm 10 is kind of like a movie. Uh, we uh, see here in the beginning that uh, these people are uh, in dire need, or they're in trouble, right. or some sort of evil uh, presence here. And in jumping into uh, a section, verses 4 through 11 mm -hmm. here, uh, it's more or less describing that evil force. Right. Um, and sort of picking up in verse 4, In the pride of the face, the wicked does not seek him. All his thoughts are, there is no God. His ways prosper at all times. His judgments are on high, out of his sight. As for all his foes, he puffs at them. He says in his heart, I shall not be moved. Throughout the generations, I shall not meet adversity. His mouth is filled with cursing and deceit and oppression. Under his tongue are mischief and iniquity. He sits in ambush in the villages. In hiding places, he murders the innocent. His eyes stealthily watch for the helpless. He lurks in ambush like a lion in his thicket. He lurks that he may seize the poor. He seizes the poor when he draws, the, or draws him into his net. The helpless are crushed, sink down, and fall by his might. He says in his heart, God is forgotten. He has hidden his face. He will never see it. <clears throat> the wicked mistake, or the, the wicked presence, or the evil presence here, uh, they mistake God's patience for right. evil uh, in judgment. Uh, for They mistake that, or his patience, with just more or less a disinterest. Right. Uh, a disinterest in judgment and accurate judgment at that. Well, and I think that's, that's something that we need to understand that we don't always understand God. We don't understand his ways. Mm -hmm. as, I mean, his ways are not our ways. And so I think we need to give, if we're going to give anybody the benefit of the doubt, we're going to give God the benefit of the doubt yeah. because he's always there, even in times of wickedness. Yep. Uh, and then continuing on verse 12, Arise, O Lord. Uh, Arise, O Lord. O God, lift up your hand. Forget not the wicked. And we got, we've already kind of discussed this a little bit in right. our study of the Psalms, so particularly in chapter, or Psalm 9, verse 19, where it says, O rise, O Lord, let, let not man prevail. Mm -hmm. Let the nations be judged before you. This is more or less uh, continuing down now. Uh, pick up in verse 15. Break the arm of the wicked and evildoer. Call his wickedness to account till you find none. Uh, till you find none. Uh, the psalmist here is really saying, Come, Lord Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hurry up and bring judgment. Right. Because... Uh, we, we're, we're suffering here. We we need you. We need you to bring judgment and put this evil presence to bed. Right. Because uh, we're, we're suffering here. We need you. Uh, verse 16, the Lord King is forever and ever. The nations perish from his hand. We kind of went over that again in Psalm 9. Um, our verses 17 and 18 now is where I want us to spend a little time. O Lord, you hear the desire of the afflicted. You will strengthen your heart. You will incline your ear to do justice to the fatherless and the oppressed, and the oppressed, so that man who is of the earth may strike terror no more. Uh, that verse seventeen, O Lord, you hear the desire of the afflicted. You are strength. You will strengthen their heart, and you will incline your ear. Uh, when I read this, I was immediately reminded of First John chapter five. First mm -hmm. um, John chapter five, verse fourteen says, and this is the confidence. That we have toward him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. God is listening to us. No matter what we're going through, God will hear us as long as we pray with his will in mind. Right. And then finally, to do justice to the fatherless and the oppressed, so that 
man who is of earth may strike terror no more. In Romans chapter 8, Paul's writing about the future glory that is set before us as Christians when we uh, are do, abiding in God's will. The future glory that is set before us does not even compare to the troublesome times that we face here on earth. Yeah, that's and that's really important for us to understand. I think when I see this song, I see that, you know, we may sometimes feel feel completely alone, feel like God's not there, but the reality is God is there. Uh, and God is also going to one day bring down his vengeance upon uh, upon the sinful, uh, upon those that do not uh, follow uh, according to his word and to his will. And so the best thing for us to do is to trust in God, uh, to stay faithful to his word, and to have that endurance until the end because uh, one day he's coming back. And for those that are not faithful, uh, they will be cast out. Uh, for those that are faithful, uh, we will be uh, able to enter into an eternal bliss with him. Uh, this psalm is, is encouraging uh, and it just reminds us to just stay faithful uh, to the one true God.